What's up, Displayers? Happy Friday. Welcome back to Display TV. I am your host, Sarah Priebus, coming to you live from New York City. How are we feeling today? It's Friday. It's the best day of the week. We're almost to the weekend. We got a special trivia game coming up for you today in 30 minutes where you can win $500. And just a reminder, it's themed today. Billboard Music Awards, baby. They're happening this weekend. We're gonna get you ready in today's chat, in today's show, so that we all are on the same page, right? We'll talk about some of our favorite artists that have been nominated, the songs that are up there, and maybe that'll help you get your studying in that you didn't do prior to the show today. And of course, we're giving away that trivia answer, which we do every single weekday prior to the trivia show. So if you need extra help, you are in the right place. This chat is it. Let's see who's hanging with us today. What is going on? The people are coming in and they are loving it. We've got Dennis Ultima here. We've got Chico99FB here. We've got Nunes Wendy here and Raya1011. We have Amy Princess 77. Ooh, Amy, did you know that Sarah, that means princess? I love to tell people that fun trivia fact. It makes me very happy. We've got Monkey Cow here. We've got Marco R78. Lou Marie 81, Anime Drano, Black Lavender 3000, Queen Boss is here, Favor 19, Callie Puppy, Steve O85, Scenery, Gummy Nuggets. Woo! Uh, you got a perfect 10 yesterday. And, uh, you won? How much was that? How much, how much did yesterday's players take home? Does anybody, Chaz, do you remember? Less than a dollar because we had a lot of winners yesterday, which is very exciting. I think I'm very curious to see how today goes because we're niching down, right? It's going to be a little bit more specific. We do those themed games every once in a while, and you got to know a lot about the subject matter in order to win trivia, right? You got to answer 10 questions correctly. Today's is going to be one, one more time. It's about the Billboard Music Awards. So again, if, if you want to take from now till then to study, you be my guest, but we're gonna help you in, in today's show a little bit. So not only by giving away one of the answers, but also by letting you know who some of the nominees are, having you weigh in on sort of who your favorites are, and hopefully that'll get you in the right zone for thinking, for winning today's trivia game. Hey, Cat for Seven, you're excited? I love it. Did anybody do any studying last night? after I announced the theme. I'm always curious. I saw Chico99FB said, I studied a little bit, right? It's pretty easy. You can pull up some of the lists and check out who's been nominated, who's hosting, what we can look out for in this weekend's awards. Who's planning on watching this weekend? Do you watch for the outfits? Do you watch to support the winners? Do you watch to see the musical performances? Do we love watching award shows? Or are we more like, nah, I'm good. I don't need to take a look. I'm curious. Sometimes I catch them, sometimes I don't, but after doing this game this today, I'm gonna definitely be tuning in to see who's taking away some of these prizes. Hey, 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 show hug. Hello, Amir and ABH. So good to have everybody here today. Happy, happy Friday. Well, that leads me to my next question. I mean, it's been a week. We, we had a whole week back here. I, I mean, they just keep going by like this. It's crazy. I look up and bam, we're at Friday again. So tell me, let me check in with all my display bees. How was your week? How was it? How, how was your week, guys? Did we, did we have a good time? Was it a struggle to get through? I took control. I took a break. I took an Advil. What, how, which best describes our week this week? You know, like what, was it like, okay, no, I saw my week. I, I conquered my week. I had that thing, you know, organized. We got through it. It was great. Was it, I needed a break from my own week or you were like, ooh, I was beyond a break. I had to take an Advil, that thing was tough. Hmm? Which best describes your week? You know what, doesn't matter because now we're at the end of it, we're all here together and maybe we'll go home with a little extra money in our pockets tonight. That would be pretty great, right? Go end the week with a win? I love it, okay. 42% of you took, 44% of you took control. Yes, you did. And you're gonna take control of trivia today too, very clearly, because if you are in this pre-show, that means you know how to set yourself up for success, right? You know, I give away that trivia answer here. You know I'm prepping you for today's game and we're gonna be in the right mindsets to win trivia today. Also, in the right mindsets to, to earn a little bit more on display, right? Because that's the other thing that we're gonna cover here today. Um, however, and I don't wanna jinx anything. I really, really don't. 
Okay, if there were wood near me, I would knock on it right now. But does anybody know, aside from today being the Billboard Music Awards themed trivia game, what today is? Has anybody had a look at the calendar and seen the date of today? Um, does this affect anybody? Are we um, scared of it at all? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Gary Michael, today is Friday the 13th. It is spooky. It's spooky. I don't know. Do, I mean, this is a great question for all of you. Are, you. are you superstitious? Let me know in the chat. Like, do we see Friday the 13th in the calendar and we're like, ooh, I got to take stuff off my plate. Also, Mercury's in retrograde. Friday the 13th, Mercury's in retrograde. All I'm saying is, friends, you have been warned. Take an extra moment before tapping those answers in today's trivia game. Take an extra moment before anything. Sending the email, watching where you're walking, right? Maybe if you can unload a few things from your schedule today, like, do that. I'm not super, super, super superstitious. Ooh, I'm not super superstitious. So that makes me just stitious. <laughs> oh, she's funny. Okay. I'm not super superstitious, but you know, when you got you got Mercury in retrograde, retrograde, you got Friday the 13th, uh, I don't know, the things are aligning and I'm a little wary, I'm a little wary. Um, oh, Gary Michael, you love black cats. Um, Callie Puppy says it's Saturday the 14th. You know what, maybe somewhere in the world it is already Saturday the 14th and you've safely made it through Friday the 13th. Cat for seven. I love you already trying to help out some people in the chat. Okay, so if you are here for the learning, if you are new, I saw somebody say they were. Jay Simon, hey, what's up? It's so good to have you here. Don't you worry. We are gonna talk a little bit about how to earn some money on display today. I'll get to that in just a moment. And of course, if you have any specific questions, you are more than welcome to put them in the chat. Um, as Capper7 said as well though, the Learning Center, which is available in your main menu, is such a great place to check out helpful topics to learn about how to use display at any time. But right now, I wanna learn from all of you, um, what are you avoiding today? That's what I wanna learn about all of you. I wanna learn from all of you, what are you avoiding today, okay? Are we avoiding walking under ladders? Are we avoiding shattered mirrors? Are we avoiding black cats? Are we avoiding my ex? Which one are you avoiding, um, given the day? Well, I mean, according to Gary Michael, we're not avoiding black cats. We love black cats. And I gotta say, as a cat lady, I love all cats. I love black cats. I love white cats. I love my cat. I love tabby cats. Um, but, you know, I might not walk under a ladder today. Um, if I see a shattered mirror, I guess, the, the superstition is that like you yourself, if you shatter the mirror, it's bad. It's seven years of bad luck. So if I see a shattered mirror, okay. For me, I'm gonna avoid walking under those ladders today. I'm gonna see a ladder and I'm probably gonna walk right around the ladder. Okay, yes. But 37% of you, you are avoiding black cats and 28% of you are like, mm, my ex, any day of the week, I don't care if it's Friday the 13th or Saturday the 14th, I am avoiding my ex. Um, I love it. I love gauging everyone's superstitions or lack thereof for Friday the 13th. Well, I wish you all a very happy Friday the 13th. We can just look at it as another Friday or maybe it becomes the Friday that you win trivia, right? Maybe it's the Friday that you win trivia and that's how you get to remember this day. So again, coming up in 20 minutes now, we've got our very special Billboard Music Awards themed trivia show. We're playing for $500 and I want to get you all in the mood by asking you to weigh in on some of your faves, on some of your nominees and artists and the people that you really liked and want to support. So let's start off by asking all of you, who's your pick for top artist, right? Hint, hint, these are also all the people who are nominated. So, you know, take notes, friends, take notes. Who is your pick for top artist? Is it The Weeknd, Taylor Swift, Olivia Rodrigo, Drake or Doja Cat? Who is your pick? Who do you think deserves the win for top artists at the Billboard Music Awards this weekend? I always like it giving, I mean, have all of these people won top artists? That's my real, that's the real question. Chaz, do you know, have these people all won awards already? I mean, yeah. Right? Yeah. Who do you think deserves it, Chaz? I think this year, Doja Cat. Doja Cat deserves it this year. I do, I, I would say either Doja Cat 
The Weeknd kind of killed this year too with some great songs and Olivia Rodrigo. Um, so that's hard for me to decide. So I'll take it from all of you. Make sure you tap those answers in. Okay. It's pretty, I mean, we've got a pretty even split for The Weeknd and Taylor Swift. So Weeknd, Taylor Swift, let's see if, you know, that's what it ends up being this weekend. But hey, again, at least now you know, these are all of the nominees for top artists that might help you a little bit in today's trivia game just by knowing that, right? And of course, make sure you tune in to actually support your artists this weekend. Let's do it. Okay, so that's top artists. Of course, we got tons of other categories here, but I wanna get to the next one. That, that was really singling people out. So let's single out some groups, some duos, and let's find out who is your top pick for best duo or group, hmm? Is it Silk Sonic? <laughs> wow. Silk Sonic, Migos, Imagine Dragons, Glass Animals, or BTS? Who would be your pick for top duo group if you had to choose? Chaz, do you have a favorite for this? BTS. BTS, baby. BTS. Again, this isn't just for us. I mean, like, of course, I'm enjoying getting to know all of you a little bit better and finding out who your choices would be. But remember that. These are gonna help you a little bit in today's game, which is Billboard Music Awards theme. So if you're looking right now, just take some notes, maybe jot it down on a piece of paper. Nobody said you can't study for this quiz. And let's see what our, oh, they're with you. The chat is with you, Chaz. The chat is with us, because I, I too, BTS baby. Um, love, I love running to BTS. Okay, 44% did say BTS. Should we do one more of these? Are we having fun? Do we love this? Are we getting in the mood for Billboard Music Awards theme trivia? Yes, we are. Okay, so our third one today, we want to ask you, who do you think, well, I should say, what's your pick for top 100 song? Right now we're boiling it down to a song. What is your pick for top 100 song? Save your tears, stay good for you, levitating, kiss me more. All right, so, Let's see if we can break down who all of these are. Save Your Tears is The weekend. Stay and Ariana Grande, my bad. Stay is The Kid Leroy and Justin Bieber. Good For You is Olivia Rodrigo. Levitating is Dua Lipa. Kiss Me More is Doja Cat and SZA. All right, so maybe that helps you actually choose. But you remember, these songs were all like playing forever. They were stuck in my head forever. Um, and I don't know how I would choose, but I just, I tapped one in right now, but I don't want to sway your options. So make sure you tap in your votes. What's your pick for top 100 song? Save your tears. The weekend Ariana Grande followed pretty closely by the rest. Chaz, did you have a favorite song that you were listening to on repeat? Kiss me more. I'll be honest. I tapped stay. Um, I, I was singing that song for a minute and seeing all of the social media videos using it, which I really loved. I did like Good For You too. I don't know, it's hard to choose. There are a lot of good songs this year. The artists, be, you know what? Let's give it up for all of our artists, whether you're on display as an artist or whether you are an artist that is performing or nominated for the Billboard Music Awards. Artists make the world go round. That's why we have this app, Display, right? It's to give back to creators and artists of all kinds. So. I mean, what a lead in. I feel like that we should talk about a little bit about how you can actually earn money right here on this app. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so if you are a creator, that's what this app has been designed for. We are giving you back 50% of the ad revenue that's generated on your content. So make sure you're posting on this app, all right? Three ways that you earn money here on display. The first is that once your content, content is circulating in other people's timelines or feeds, You'll see every three posts, there is an ad. The money from that ad goes 50% to display, 50% to the three creators whose posts appear above that ad. Number two would be the support me button. This is a little yellow ass that says support me. It's on the bottom right of another creator's post. Go support your artists. Go tap this support me button today, right? In honor of our fellow artists here, you watch an ad with your time. That is all you're investing here. It's not your money, but your time gets converted into dollars for that person who you tap the support me button on. So go tap the support me button today. That literally helps another creator get paid. And the third way, <laughs> the third way is by inviting your friends. So tell people that that's what this app is here for, that we're actually getting you paid for your social content. 
Make sure you're using your unique links. Go to your main menu, tap invite your friends, and then you'll see you have a couple of different ways that you can actually invite your friends. You've got copy the link, you can use the QR code, any of these things will work, but it's how we make sure that you get your 10% referral bonus for bringing someone here. So in between now and trivia, text a couple of your friends, tell them that we've got Billboard Music Awards themed trivia coming up, get them in here to win some money, and uh, there you go, start earning some money on display. Have them start earning some money on display. Okay, we've kind of gotten you in the mood a little bit now for the Billboard Music Awards themed trivia game coming up. And maybe some of those questions we've already asked you are some hints to the questions that will be asked in today's game. But I have an actual answer for all of you today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask you question eight from today's game. You're gonna attempt to answer, and then I'm gonna reveal the correct answer so that you have it for the game today. All right, you feeling good? You feeling ready to do this? Let's do it. All right, here we go, question eight. Which of the following has never won the BBMA Icon Award, hmm? Who has never won the BBMA Icon Award? Pink, Britney Spears, or Cher? All iconic artists, right? We have so much to say thank you for, so many great songs, so many hits, but who has never? Two of these individuals has won. One of these individuals has never won. Who's the person who's never won the BBMA Icon Award? Do you know who it is? Let's see if y'all know it. Make sure you tap your answers. Again, this is for no points. You don't lose anything by getting this wrong. In fact, you only gain, friends. You only gain because I'm gonna give you the correct answer. Pink, Britney Spears, or Cher? Who do you think has never won the B BBMA Icon Award? How did you, you guys are so smart. It blows my mind how smart you are every single time. Okay. So you're right, 48% of you are right, and it's Britney Spears. Britney Spears has never won. It's Britney, bitch. Yeah, that's your answer. Well done, 47% of you got that. Pink has won, Cher has won, but never Britney Spears. Now, if you got that right, shout yourselves out in the chat. Let me know, how did you know it? Did you, did you just happen to know that she's never taken that award? Honestly, if, honestly, if I had to guess, I probably would have guessed Pink myself um, so I probably would have gotten that wrong uh, because Britney Spears literally shaped my childhood, my teenage years. Um, but you know, that that's for 47% of you. You didn't need my help. You got it right. Okay, bravo. Newness Wendy guessed and got it. Mika Tsuet guessed and got it. Ooh, yeah, wheels, you know it. It is, that's your answer. All right. Well, friends, before we get into today's trivia game and before I give you a little break to invite all your friends to play, let's show off some of these posts that are getting our very own artists paid right here on display. All right, up first, we got Leon in the DMV with a shoe shot. I love them, Crocs. Does anybody own Crocs at home? How cute that you can customize them now. Like, it just adds so much character. Are we for Crocs? Or are we against, you know, I, I, I used to think they were uncool and now the way that they've been rebranded and like marketed, I'm like, I want Crocs. I need to add all of the little personality. It reminds me of, um, what's the, oh, is it Waiting? The movie where they add flair to their vest? What's that, is that the movie Waiting? Does any, Chaz? I don't know Waiting. Oh, you don't know Waiting? It's such a good movie about, no. what? <laughs> Chad says, don't shame me for not knowing movies. He knows I haven't seen a very, a lot of classics. Uh, and let me know if you've seen Waiting. I think that's the one where they all have to like add flair to their server uniforms. And if you don't have enough flair, uh, am I right? Yeah, Chico 99 FE with Ryan Reynolds, exactly. Um, oh, Office Space 2, okay, there you go. Uh, <laughs> Kim Osorio, you have never seen Waiting? Friends, if you do nothing else this weekend, aside from watch the Billboard Music Awards, please watch Waiting. It is, if you've ever worked in hospitality, or frankly, if you haven't worked in hospitality, you need to watch the movie Waiting. I don't know where it's playing, but you should absolutely watch it. Okay, now, revo <laughs> revoke Chaz's pop culture card, please. All right, let's show off, what do we got? Let's do one more photo. Let's do one more photo before we get into our main event today. All right, this one's from Susie. This is the Robert F. Kennedy Bridge. Gorgeous, I love me a New York City photo. And I might be biased because I live here and because we come to you every single day from the greatest city in the world. No, I'm kidding, all cities are great. 
but from this great city. Um, I love this by Susie. Susie, you could post this to World Traveling. Make sure you're using your community's friends. They help you earn extra money here on display. And you know what else helps you earn extra money? Trivia. We got a very, very special themed game coming at you in 10 minutes. Billboard Music Awards theme. So make sure you brush up, you study in that 10 minutes, you invite your friends, get them in here using your codes, tell them they can win 500 bucks. I'll see you back here in 10. Bye bye.
Hello everybody and welcome to an all new game of display trivia live from New York City. I am your host Sarah Priebus and today we are celebrating the weekend's biggest event, the Billboard Awards. And now I will read the nominations for Best Billboards. This was a particularly competitive category, starting with Buses for Babies on State Road I-75. Greg and Greg Attorneys, near the abandoned mini mall in Shaker Heights, Ohio. Captain Ricky's Seafood Extravaganza of Roswell, New Mexico. And finally, the rug store that's been having a closing sale for five years, but will never close. And the winner is, Wait, what? It's for, for music? Wait, there's no award for, for billboards? Well, I wish someone had told me that before I made all these trophies. Friends, we can promise the Billboard Music Awards this weekend will feature plenty of music, but there's no telling what could come up in today's questions. So, here are the rules. You'll have 10 seconds to answer 10 questions each. When a new question appears on your screen, choose carefully because once you tap, there is no going back. If you get one wrong though, just be like Miley, who can't stop, won't stop. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi and that you're holding your phone vertically. Your winnings will appear in your display bank account if you're actively posting and have a completed profile. Anybody ready for a quick rehearsal? Yeah? You feel good? Would you rather, for no points, Pump up the jam, pump it, or pumped up kicks? Pump up the jam, pump it, pumped up kicks. I mean, a song poll to get you in the mood for music trivia? How appropriate. Oh, we are good here. We are really, really good. 42% of you said pump, pump it up. Pump up the jam. All right, in that case, no more vamping. It's time for display trivia. Except, shall we do a few shout outs before we get started? Yeah, let's do it. Who's ready for this game? Out Black is, Mitch Do is, Zermateo is, who else? AM Steel is, yes, let's turn Friday the 13th into a lucky day with a win. I love that. Alex Abai is, Dorian B is ready, who also, by the way, voted for the Rugs Billboard as best winner, best billboard. I love it. Mama Sita's ready. Okay, okay, let's do it. Here we go. Question one. The Billboard Music Awards honor achievements in farming, crossword puzzles, music. We said this, you know it. But you know, Billboard actually started out as a magazine highlighting trends in advertising, which really goes to show you that you can start in one place and end up anywhere especially if you were holding your map upside down. The Billboard Music Awards honor popular music innovators and 98% of you already tuned in. Question two. What happens in Vegas stays where? By the road, in Vegas, at home. What happens in Vegas stays where? Well, the awards are in Las Vegas this year, so if this expression is true, it means Whoever ends up winning has to stay in Vegas if they want to hold on to that award. Look, I don't make the rules. But I always go to Vegas when I need to verbally assault a family member because that stuff can't follow you home. And let's see if 97% of you can follow up this one with another right answer. Question three. The Billboard Weekly Hot List charts how many songs at a time? 1,150. How many songs at a time, friends? I mean, Forbes has their 30 under 30. The Bible has seven deadly sins. And Justin Timberlake and Madonna have only got four seconds to save the world. But Billboard, they round out their weekly list of 100 of the country's most popular songs. Currently number one is Harry Styles, As It Was. But as far as it's going, 
91% of you, much like former One Direction star, are golden. Question four. The 2022 artist with the most nominations is Doja Cat, Taylor Swift, The Weeknd. The most nominations. I know we're asking who of these has the most nominations, but guys, awards, they're not a contest, okay? No. The only real competition is, did I hold the yoga pose longer than the girl next to me in class? Come on, Lindsay, drop that tree. We know who the real winner in yoga is, okay? Yeah, unlike yoga, there are no winners in music. But when it comes down to it, The Weeknd has the most nominations in 2022 with 17. And Doja's in a close second with 14. Ooh, such savagery here. Ooh, only 20% of you got that, but you are getting closer to a win. Question five. The 2022 group with the most nominations is from which country? The US, South Korea, Canada. The group with the most nominations. This question's for groups only, okay? That's right, you gotta have a team to compete. Just like a three-legged race or your full party to be seated. You know, some things are just better with a team. And South Korean K-pop group BTS, they know this. Now the group will not be attending because they're focusing on their upcoming album, Proof, which music insiders are saying uh, will be in the pudding. 70% of you might not have BTS's six noms, but you are getting closer to winning trivia. And honestly, I think that counts more. Question six. 2022 Billboard Music Awards host is known for which song? Bad Boy for Life, One Wish, Still Dre. From one host to another, I tip my cap to this person. Well, I mean, I would tip my cap, but I left my cap at home with my monocle and my cork cob pipe. But you know, I tip it all the same. Shoot, I am gonna be so unprepared for that gender bent Sherlock Holmes audition later. Okay, but that, this show must go on, babies. It must go on. The host and EP on this year's awards is Sean P. Diddy Combs. He's a bad boy for life and 62% of you are on a roll. Question seven. Jack Harlow's current number three song samples this artist, Will I Am, the Black Eyed Peas, Fergie. <laughs> number three, oh my God, geez. You know what I always say, if you're not number one, you're last. Which is why I want to take this time to give you a little taste of my new hit single. Hit it! How you guys feeling tonight? You ready for a dance number? Seriously? Are you kidding me? You guys never let me sing on this show. Never. And you're going to regret that when my song is the, the hit single of the summer, the hit song of the summer, or like, you know, wins an award next year at the Billboard Music Awards. Anyway, Jack Harlow's number three song samples a song by Fergie. And 85% of you are looking glamorous and heading into question eight. Which of the following has never won the BBMA Icon Award? Pink, Britney Spears, Cher. The Icon Award. I mean, my favorite icon? Probably the little apple on the top left corner of a MacBook screen. But you know, she's, she's just not musical enough to win this. I guess Cher and Pink are a good close second. Britney Spears has yet to be awarded this title at the BBMAs, but you know, if she keeps turning out those social media posts, it'll be hers in no time. We love you, Britney. We love you. 83% of you got it. Question nine. The first artist to have a number one on the Hot 100 was Bobby Darin, Ricky Nelson, Little Richard. The first artist ever. I mean, to know this, you need to know when the first ever Billboard Hot 100 was released. Now, of course, because of global warming, when it first came out over 60 years ago, it was just the Billboard Warm 100. But that's just progress, I guess. 
The first song to ever top the charts was Ricky Nelson's Poor Little Fool in August of 1958, and since then, it's been a mad dash to the top. 57% of you know the feeling. Oof, and you are getting so close. You're getting so close. Let's get into the final question. Question 10. Billboard magazine was first published in what city? Cincinnati, Detroit, New York City. Which city? Oof. Does anybody know this deep cut? I mean, don't let this question throw you off from your win. The only thing that should do that is when you go to see your favorite band live in concert and they only play the new stuff that nobody knows. Stick to the hits, folks, stick to the hits. Fun fact, I yelled that at Bono once. Um, it was just in line at CVS, so it didn't really go over that well. Um, but when Billboard was first published in Cincinnati, Ohio in 1894, it took some years to gain in popularity, but it did eventually become a hit. 70% of you swung and you made a hit on this last one. Was it enough for a win? Who are the winners of our first Billboard Music Awards themed trivia game? Ooh -hoo -hoo! That is a big prize today, friends. 32 winners. Do the math, Chaz. How, many, how much money is that? It is $15.63. $15.63. If you came Slayed, displayed your knowledge, you are getting paid over $15. I love it. Shout out those scores, friends. Amy Princess got a six out of 10. Rajneesh got an eight out of 10. Wise King Do Man. Ooh, I missed your score. Hold on, I got you. Ah, five out of 10. Who won? Shetwa, you won? Woo, uh, bravo. Mamacita, you won. Congratulations, that's incredible. Who else? Sockman got an eight out of 10. <laughs> Capper 7, you want to hear me sing? Write a note to the producers. Who else? Vinicius S1, 5 out of 10. Cal Pode got a 6 out of 10. Senorita, 7 out of 10. Oh, Mr. 9821, so, so, so close. They want it. They want it. Oh my God, I thought you'd never ask. I thought you'd never ask. Well, friends, congratulations. In honor of all of you, I wrote a song. Are you ready for it? Are you ready to hear it? Hit it, friends! Oh, God, I love this intro. You asked for it, and here we go. I hope you're ready for a dance number. Hey, everybody, it's Sarah Priebus reminding you to join me every single weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern for Display Trivia. Answer all 10 questions correctly and win part of that $500 jackpot. And don't forget to invite your friends.